What? what? Okay. Uh, going back at this uh, palette video stuff again here. Maybe a little more clarity. But before I get started on that, I want to let you know, uh, you know, I was watching a video of uh, some guys doing some palette stuff. And man, uh, I would love to have the equipment that they have. And I got to thinking, you know, just because I don't have this equipment don't mean I can't do anything. And then I wondered how many other people think of the same thing. Just because you don't have thousands of dollars worth of equipment, which you'll see what I have from what I'm working with here, not like that. Just because you don't have all of that stuff doesn't mean that you can't do something. And I, I you know, I, I try not to complain about that. I know I do it, but I try so hard. I am in so stinking much pain. I just want to scream my head off. This stuff, you know, stuff's just, just not working. I don't know. It's just not working. So I have two choices, basically. I can just sit here and, you know, cry in my drink, or I can get out and do something anyway. At least I can keep moving best I can. It's not easy. I know it. And I know there's a lot of you guys, people out there are a lot worse off than me. Some of you guys are just sitting there watching this stuff. I know, you know, you think, what in the world is this guy talking about? I don't know. Of all the stuff and surgeries that I've had and all the problems and the pills and the junk that i got to deal with, this is misery. I am in total, utter misery. But I can't do it. It's not in me to just sit there and do nothing. So, hence this video. Bottom line, you can. I know you can. Because if I can, you can. And you want to see somebody really bad off, go to a VA hospital. Check out some of the guys there, missing limbs have to be they're stuck in a wheelchair thank god i've gotten out of that stupid wheelchair for now some of them have to be in it but anyway please watch this video i hope it it gets somebody going uh, like subscribe and share share with somebody that that needs it right now appreciate you Bye. watch the video all right I'm wired. I don't know how this is going to work. I'll try something different. Yes, I've done pallets before. I've showed you that a little bit, but I'm going to try to do it a little more fancy. Get a little more. Maybe. I got a camera there. I'm going to have it there. I'm going to have a camera sitting there. Got one there. Got one there. And I'm going to have one, have this one sitting up here. So let's see what happens. Let's leave the cover off for now. Let's get this one going. And... Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs>
see. Some palettes are good, or some palettes are better than others. But wood is wood. Sometimes you need small pieces, sometimes you need big pieces. This is what I do. Okay, that is those. And then you have these. Oh, these. Whew. Let's turn. Hard on old man. But then, do you get your Boards, big boards off there. Sometimes you get some busted pieces, some old stuff. You gotta knock that off. <clears throat> I use a bigger crowbar for this than a, I was using that small stuff, and that's just too much on me. And boom, I can do that real nice and easy. Now, this may seem like a lot of work, and. I guess in some cases it is. Uh, but after two back surgeries, three back surgeries, two knee surgeries, and an ankle replacement, I, I think I'm doing okay. It hurts like I'll get out. Don't give me, don't give me, don't let me, you know, try to fool you there. I know that. I know better than that. But you know, if you don't work through the pain, you ain't getting nothing done. But you know what I'm talking about. You know, you just get moving and get done. You don't get it done. If somebody else gets gets what you wanted. Somebody else has to do it. You lose out. You sit down on a couch like a vegetable if you want. That's not the point of this video. The point is that took me. All of what? Maybe two minutes. Bust that down. It'll take me. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me grab a couple of the other boards. Okay. You may think, well, that's just a piece of junk board, but you know what? When you want for looking for an antique or something, you know, old look or some special look, those come in handy. So I wouldn't throw them all away. I don't keep them all, but you know, you don't really get all that many of them either. They're not, it's not that hard to deal with. And then, you'll get some busted ones. You know, and I, I could probably glue or fix or use, use that in some way or another, but I, I'm not going to. I have enough, as you can see. I've got, I've got enough I can deal with. But I still keep the nails. Uh, these are still good usable nails for, especially for reusing on these these boards like this. They're good, strong. A screw in type. If you can see that. It's a good, strong nail. Does the job. Now some of them come out a little crooked. You got to deal with that, but that's no big deal either. This depends. Now I'm just using what I got. That's all. That's all I'm doing here is using what I got. So, I'm going to take this. 
this. There you go. I got my board. Some of them will have a little knot in it like that, but the rest of it, you know, that's all good board. So if I only needed that. A lot of people are just coming along and cutting there, cutting there and there, cutting there. So you got about 20 inches of board there, 18 to 20 inches of board is all you're going to get. Where I have 40, 42 inches of board, when I got really good ones like this over here, and they're all different, uh, some of them are different widths, some of them are different depths, uh, some of them are, you know, I get the different lengths and all, but it's still, I get a, little, a lot better board out of that when I do it this way. Now, as soon as I do this, once again, on there. All right. Now, not totally necessary, but. It helps. I picked these plastic saw horses up, I think, for like $18, $20 or something like that on sale. Bows or Walt, or not Walt. I don't even talk about that in all these places. Um, Bows or Home Depot. Can't remember. I go to both of them. But I got the saw horses. Picked up a hammer. I think these hammers come uh, from. Uh, Harbor Freight for you know a few dollars. They're good fiberglass heavy-duty hammers. They work well. Again, uh, pry bar and then uh, the crowbar. So those three, in combination with this bar, this uh, breaker, pallet breaker. Uh, which I got off of uh, eBay for like uh, about, I don't know, $25. It's a lifesaver. The pipe is just a piece of pipe I had laying around and it fits right inside. It's got a little screw down there to tighten everything down. So, uh, 25, uh, 35, 45, $60 after a while in time. It took me a while long time to save my pennies but about sixty seventy dollars in material in the tools not all needed you can do it with just a plain hammer if you really want to work at it and you're good and strong and can handle that that's great and uh, you know just build your stuff up as you go but then you end up with piles of lumber from these pallets and it's a great deal it's about the best deal at going right now as far as lumber goes. Uh, you know, I mean, if, if you have to, you got to go like on, on this porch. And I had to buy uh, two befores because I needed uh, 10 footers. Well, then that's what you got to do. You know, four befores. It's rare to find this kind of stuff and that lengths and that, that kind of stuff in pallets, if ever. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to do that. But, other things like my A, that's all pallet. My A is that's for my uh, grand, grandson, one of my grandsons. Okay, uh, this fold out bench, about 90% uh, pallet. Okay, um. You know, all kinds of stuff. I got uh, the porch out front. You see, you can go back and see my porch and all that stuff like that. So, anyway, uh, we got about 20 minutes into this. I want to get running. 
please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, if you would like to see something specifically made out of this pile of wood, let me know. Leave it down in the comments, and I'll see what I can find and what I can do. I'm going to be building a corner shelf pretty soon out of most all of these pallets. I don't have a planer, so we're going to have to do it a little bit different, a little more by hand. But then in the 1900s, 1800s, they didn't have planers either. So, yeah, yeah, you could. But anyway, the home individual guy didn't. So, like, subscribe, and share, and I appreciate you. Thanks.